Hello everybody, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights, the core campaign. I'm Josh, and we are in the middle of investigating an estate in the Black Lake District. And so let's get right through it. I'm hoping to get through uh, the rest of the estate today. So we'll just take on some guards. Go deeper into the house and investigate everything we can. Collect all the evidence that we can. Okay. There is a key, which I think opens these jail cells. And here is a badger. And it hasn't attacked us yet, so... I will leave it alone. I wonder why he has a badger locked up. Okay, and then here is the missing guard, Samuel. Pleased to see you. What's this? Am I finally to be rescued? Or are you another of the wizard's servants? I'm certainly no servant of the wizard, no. That's a relief. My name is Samuel, an inspector for the city guard. I was beginning to think no one would ever free me. How do I know you're actually a prisoner? That this isn't some ruse. I've no reason to lie to you. I have no weapons. I'm completely at your mercy. In fact, if you would release me, I'm sure my captain would even reward you. Would you be able to find your way out on your own? Yes, yes, I believe I could try, at two, at least. Alright, then go. The way behind me is clear. Thank you, sir. I'm sure I can find a way out of here. I only wish I could take revenge on that damnable wizard. Once you leave this place, seek out Captain Thurin. I'm sure he will want to thank you for finding me. Fare you well. Okay, and Thurin is the guy back at the... Uh, board Lake Bear. Oh, there's a guard dog. Let's take care of that since the guy doesn't have any weapons. Because he is going very slowly. But, all right. And it looks like there's some goblins trapped here, so let's go talk with them. Hello. Oh, they just attacked me, so we'll take them on. I'm just gonna let you guys go. We had to come out punching. And they had a thieves picked. So, oh, one had something else on him. A gem. I wonder where he hid that in prison. Hmm. I think I might need to wash that gym, especially from what I know about goblins. Alright, another storage room with a dog. Oh, two dogs. Okay, I think these dogs just have leather hides. Yeah, that's it. So, I'm just gonna leave those because I don't need them currently. I could try and make some armor, but it really won't amount to anything, and it's not worth uh, selling. So, like I said, I took the craft armor feat for when I find a suit of armor that I want to alter its look. And we have an apprentice wizard with a bunch of methods. I'm going to hold off on that for the second and see what's in this door. Oh, nobleman. He's aggressive. Hmm. 
Okay. And for a nobleman, he was kind of poor, actually. But we've uh, stocked up on some potions, so that will be good. Okay, I'm going to preemptively drink this potion. So, my strategy here is to ignore the apprentice for a minute. I need to get rid of all his little minions. Okay, so I'll attract them over here. And then have them follow me. Okay. So now I'm far enough away from the wizard he won't get involved. Until I'm ready for him. Okay. Now the methods are down. Now I can try and take on the wizard. And this is one of those fights where I'm definitely going to need to save, so... Because uh, I already have a feeling that I'm going to take a lot of damage from this guy. Alright, let's uh, get a crossbow. And let's put uh, some bolts of frostbite on it. And we'll see if we can't uh, hit him from a distance. I might need to get up in close personal with him though, so... Ah, that hit him. And that hit us, so... Take a potion. Faith shall grant me victory! Okay, and then we're just going to try and stay at range. And do what I did with the uh, prisoner wizards and just kind of use some strike and fades so that he wastes his spells. Because he targets me instead of the area. And that hit me. Okay. That's critical wounds. I don't want to waste that just yet. But we can only really take one of those frost storms. Alright, we interrupted the spell that time. Okay, just hit him before he knows what's going on. And then get behind the corner. Okay, breaking line of sight. Seems to be the way to do this. Hit him again. Alright, down he goes. Okay, so uh, just so you guys know, that took four attempts to actually get done. So, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, he was a jerk. Okay, moving on. Okay. I don't know if any of these are trapped. But let's see. Oh, potion. Nothing. Fantastic. And a necklace. Oh, that looks like a big old trap chest. Nope. But there is a magic bag. And it's a negative 40. Uh, negative 40%. So it, uh, Makes everything weigh sixty percent of its normal weight. Okay, and then there's a another little study room. It's got some treasure chests in it and some fire beetles. Let's go ahead and check these. Potion and more fire beetle bellies that I don't need, and I almost missed this cabinet. Okay, moving on. And there's a trap. Yep. This one's a little bit tough just due to the pathfinding. Because uh, sometimes you'll just accidentally step on it. I want to think there's another... Yep, 
another trap. All right, and off to the basement we go. All right, so you remember that apprentice, right? Well, there's two more of those. I got hit by a steam method, apparently. And that has hurt my armor class and <sighs> might hit. But hopefully we can still take it down. Alright, there it goes. The methods don't seem to be a problem. There are also not any inclination on whether Maldanon's evil or not. But one thing that we'll find out is my Smite Evil ability. Because we will ultimately have to fight Meldanon. Okay, take out some of these fire beetles real quick. And those are pedestrian at this point. It's unlikely they'll hit us, or hit me, and uh, I seem to be able to take them out pretty quick. Potion. Was that a cure light? It was, so I'm going to go ahead and drink that. That way we can hold on to the, uh, ooh, a great sword plus one. I think this is an 80, isn't it? Yep. But, uh, hold on to the cure serious wound potions, or critical wound potions for, uh, in the middle of a fight. Alright. And if I remember correctly, there is an apprentice here. And he has preemptively cast his protection spells. So you will not prevail! Going to. Well, I was going to try and attract his uh, familiar. There it, there it comes. Or, this probably isn't his familiar, it's probably just a summoned creature because it doesn't hurt him when I kill this thing but I still don't want it bodyguarding him and distracting me from trying to stop his spells. Okay. So that's down. Do I have a Cat's Grace potion? I do. Alright, so that should raise my uh, reflex save against his spells. Go ahead and heal up. Hopefully we can do this in less attempts than the last one. So this is not good because now so I am slow. Ah, oh, uh, I actually resisted the spell that time. Okay, and again, I've broken the line of sight, just so he can't cast at me. So it appears my dexterity is still up, and the slow has gone away. Alright, so he just cast, so we get in, and we attack him. And then I just hope that he doesn't get any of his spells off. Oh. That one hurt. He's summoned again. I think these are sorcerers, though, so they run out of spells. At some point. 
okay. I'm just trying to get the boar to come get me so I can take it down. And I don't know if each of those castings is actually wasting one of the spell slots or not. I would hope so. Come on. Kill off that summon boar. Okay, take a potion, because we're getting low on the hit points. Oh, come on. Hit it. It's just a boar. And now I'm going to wait for him to cast again. Or I'm going to try and force him to cast. Okay. And then I get to him, hopefully. Nope, I don't think that's wasting his spell slots at all, so that sucks. But now that he's over in front of the door, this might afford me some opportunity. Another potion, didn't I? Yeah, cure my So that's not really enough to survive another ice storm, but. Ah, yes, fell off again. Thankfully, he's so smart he doesn't know how to open a door. The spell effects wearing off. Peekaboo stab. And he got another summon. got this mage dead. Okay. I think at this point I absolutely need to visit Arabeth, so I will be right back. I'm going to go grab some more potions. Alright. I've traded with Arabeth, I had her heal my wounds, and I've got a full complement, well not a full complement, but I've got a good number of potions, so let's try and take on this apprentice and his master afterward. Ah! Oh, there he goes. Uh, it looked like his spell had fallen off, so that last hit was pretty good. And he has a light crossbow. Eh, not bad loot. that. See what's in here. Ooh, half plate. I don't think it's better than the armor I'm currently wearing, but I'll my pack is out. too heavy. It is awkward. Nope. Okay, so let's stow this so we're not complaining about weight. 
All right, I've tried taking on Maldanin a couple of times now on my own, and it's just not going well. So I'm going to bring Tomy with me. Uh, hopefully that way, just having the two attacks will help us out. Now, Meldanin is indeed kidnapping people. He actually has the Water Davian Dryad. So, as soon as we approach, he will come out and attack us. Need to get a little closer. Be wary, stranger. Mel Dannon is somewhere near. And indeed, he is, as he is teleporting in. Fall before the righteous. Okay. And with him focusing on me, Tommy's getting sneak attacks. And I'm going to see if he is truly evil by smiting him. Nope. Mel Dannon isn't evil. I couldn't smite him, so we'll listen to him. Formosa sent you to kill me, didn't she? Didn't she? Why are you here? I'm here to fry, free the dryad you stole, sorcerer. I did not. I did not steal her. I found her wandering the streets and took her in. It was my plan originally to concoct a cure for this plague from her and sell it to the highest bidder. Since then, however, her charms have weakened my judgment and prevented my research. Bah, no doubt it is best she is taken, or I cannot rid myself of her influence. S so, are, are you saying then that Formosa did not send you? you? You will spare me if I give you the key to the Dryad's cage? Uh, that's right. Give me the Dryad and you can go. You are unexpectedly merciful. I suppose I should be grateful. Here is the key to the Dryad's cage, Taker. I hope, I will hope not to see you again. Oh, and you'll probably want to deliver the key to Formosa as well. Besides the Dryad's cage, it also opens my warehouses. Now go, get out. Okay, so he has given us the ability to complete Formosa's quest. My and pack is too heavy. I will continue it is awkward. His stuff. Put that in the pack. Okay. And here is a silver chalice of moonbow. That is for another companion that I am not going to complete the quest for, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Let's talk to the dryad. I have prayed to the great oak for a savior. Are you to be it? Shall I be freed at last to rejoin my tree? Calm down. I am here to free you. Oh, blessed is you, kind human one. I have been lost and so frightened since that terrible battle. I fled into the streets, but everything was so strange here. Well, Denon found me and brought me to this place. He meant to, to hurt me and make a cure for a great sickness. I did only what I could and charmed him. Twas almost worse, however, to bear his obsession. Please release me, human friend. I have been away from my oak for far too long. Uh, I ask that you come to Arabeth and help cure the plague. You need not worry. All you have to do is take a lock of my hair to your lady Arabeth. I give it gladly, human one. I had hoped I could do more, but I am very weak now. It saddens me to see the sickness in your people, but now that you have my hair, I am no longer really needed here. May the servant of the oak be allowed to leave? You may get lost in the city. I'll take you to someone who can help. You are most kind to offer, human one, but I need only reach the nearest tree. The wizard who came to me, my grove, said a single tree would return me home. I shall never forget you if we meet again. I pray that I shall be able to reward you properly. Farewell. And then she is going to go to this tree over here. Alright. And then there's just a couple more rooms in the estate. And we'll just uh, loot those. Uh, just gonna unlock everything in the room. 
Aye, oh, it's done. Okay. That's another suit of half plates. Let's see if I can't carry it. Because I think they're worth a little bit to Arabeth. Alright, grab all the stuff we can and hope that this chest isn't trapped. Nope. Ooh, Ride of the Ghost. That is a good find. It will cast uh, Ghostly Visage on us, which will give us a little bit of damage reduction, a little bit of armor class, and a mischance because we'll be concealed. Alright, so uh, I think there is another apprentice here, but with Tomy, this should be much easier than the last two. Nope, this is a storage room. The apprentice is in the next room. Oh, no, I guess he was in this room. Oh, no, it was just a method. A method that knows magic missile, as all good warrior or sorcerers should. Not really a spellcaster unless you know magic missile. Just never aim it at the darkness. And this is an imp. Okay. I could have sworn there was another apprentice, but eh, my memory's faulty. That was interesting way to uh, not get hit by the spell. Right, and Tomy takes him down. Okay. And that should be it. Okay. So, let's go back and talk with Arabeth and get our final reward. Uh, we do have one more thing I need to do before we finish off the uh, rest of this part of the campaign, but we'll go turn in the uh, Water Davian creature. Uh, that way we can trigger the last assassin attack too. So well, let's go. You are a welcome sight, as always. Is this visit in regards to the fourth Water Davian creature? Yes. We are all eagerly awaiting its recovery. As soon as we have the fourth component, we can begin the ritual to create the cure. I have the last of the reagents from the Water Davian creatures. Truly, the heart of a hero beats within your chest. Of all who have sought the creatures, you have proven yourself above everyone else. Well, nobody else really did anything, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I found the Dryad. She said she got lost in Black Lake, and there was some mad wizard who just took her and kidnapped her. So, I beat him up, and here we are. It is shameful the way such a gentle creature is mishandled. The plague does enough harm without us adding to it. The cure will be ours, Kigro. Never went to owes you a debt it can never repay. All I can offer is the small sum of 500 gold pieces. Well, thanks, Arabeth. You are most generous. You have earned a place of honor among those who sought to aid Neverwinter in these dark times. You will stand with us as the ritual to create the cure is performed. And that sounds like a great honor. Are you ready to go to the ritual chamber? We must leave as soon as possible. No, I need to take care of a couple of things first. You have earned the right to stand with those who sought to aid Neverwinter in this dark time. I will spare a few minutes for you to get ready. All right, thank you. But you must hurry. Neverwinter has suffered long enough. Return and speak to me when you are ready to go on. I will. It might take a couple of days, though. All right, come on, Tommy. Okay, and with that, 
our main quest slightly more complete, I will go ahead and sign off for today. So thank you for joining me, and next time I will finish up, uh, well, we'll be visiting the Neverwinter Zoo, and I will be turning in a bunch of side quests. I might even hit the last uh, tomb of Havwith Never. So uh, look forward to that. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Bye.